Hello Grade 11, Mr. G here and uh, we're going to be making the first video related to intermolecular forces. In this video, the only thing we are going to be doing is to uh, determine the differences between intermolecular forces and interatomic or intramolecular forces. That is the first important thing. We need to make sure we understand what is the difference between them because it's, it's, it's easy uh, to confuse them. So, let's begin by writing the definition of interatomic forces. All right, interatomic forces or intramolecular forces, and be careful because this, this here is very, very similar to intermolecular forces. So, you have intermolecular forces and you have intramolecular forces. This one is intra. Okay, be careful with that. And that one is inside. Okay, now interatomic or intramolecular forces is the same. They are forces or bonds between atoms inside the molecule. Let's remember quickly or recall molecules. Now, molecule is the result of covalent bonding. The molecule is the result of a covalent bonding. So, in other words, we are speaking about the covalent bonding. So, the covalent bonding that keep atoms together in a molecule is what we call interatomic forces or intramolecular forces. For example, if we have hydrogen chloride, which is a molecule, hydrogen chloride, for example, if we draw the Lewis dot diagram of hydrogen chloride, you have hydrogen one bond with chlorine. I am not going to be doing um, this lowest dot diagram, how it is done, but we can see that this is the bond between hydrogen chloride. So, this here is what we call the interatomic um, forces or intramolecular forces. This one here is what we call inter, inter atomic Force. Remember, it is called interatomic or intramolecular. Sorry, let me fix that one. Which is not other thing that a covalent bond. Okay, so this is the first definition. What is interatomic forces or intramolecular forces? They are the forces that held or hold the atoms together within a molecule. Okay, and remember, molecules is the result of covalent bonding. So, in other words, we are just speaking about covalent bonding. That is the first important thing. Now, let's see the definition of intermolecular forces. Now, for example, intermolecular forces are the forces between molecules. So, if you have two molecules of hydrogen chloride, and let's do um, a sketch in this term. For example, here we have two molecules of hydrogen chloride. Remember, hydrogen chloride is hydrochloric acid. It's, it's a liquid. So, there are forces that keep those molecules together. We're going to speak about those type of forces in another video. But now we have two molecules of hydrogen chloride. Those molecules, they have bonding between the atoms. Remember, and it's called covalent bonding. For example, this atom of hydrogen is bonding to this atom of chlorine. This one here is called hydrogen um, covalent bonding. And here we have hydrogen and another chlorine, and there is a bond that forms between those two atoms. This one here is called covalent bond or is also called interatomic forces. Those are interatomic forces. And it's the same for both uh, molecules. Okay. However, there are forces that stay and keep those molecules together in order for them to form a liquid. And those forces are the ones that are called intermolecular forces. So, there will be a force between the chlorine and the hydrogen. The later on, you will see this one in details. This force that keeps those two molecules together is called intermolecular 
force. That is the intermolecular force. We later on going to be giving names to those. There are different types of intermolecular forces, but that is important. Now, what is very, very important to know here is to know that the intermolecular forces are much weaker than the interatomic forces. Forces. That is very, very important uh, to know. The intermolecular forces are much, much weaker than the interatomic forces. Okay, so that is very important to know. It's very important to remember that one. You must not forget. The intermolecular forces are much weaker than the interatomic forces. For example, if you heat the hydrogen chloride, if you heat, if you apply heat, if you boil it, eventually what is going to happen? The intermolecular forces here will break. This one can break, but the bonds won't break. The interatomic forces won't break just like that. You need to apply more energy, you need a chemical reaction, etc. However, the intermolecular forces that hold those uh, molecules together will break and obviously the hydrogen chloride will turn into gas. So that is very important to know. I think this is everything related to the differences between interatomic and inter. Um, molecular forces it is very important you are going to carry on with this up to grade 12 and you need to know it and um, thank you for watching if you think it helped thumb up and you can ask questions suggest ask for a specific value uh, etc thank you for watching and good luck